Good morning, folks. We've got a day focused on space weather. We'll have updates on the CMEs we showed you yesterday morning and our forecast that more were going to be coming. We've got exactly that and we'll run it all down starting with the two events we shared yesterday. The big active regions each released a minor M-class solar flare, but they were enough to expel plasma from the corona. We showed this yesterday, which includes a large far side CME and the beginnings of the subsequent ones on the earth facing portion. We had suggested that they indicated that at least one of them was headed our way, which was fortified by the NASA Enlil spiral, which showed the impact late on the 29th. Now NOAA's Enlil spiral is updated and it shows that both flares released CMEs towards the earth, which are expected to combine on their way here and impact on the 30th which would be Tuesday, but they're going to have to update this again. Those active regions continued growing and in the overnight and morning hours here have released two M-class flares that were significantly stronger. First one was an M9.9, .9, nearly X-class. The other an M7 that just occurred about an hour ago. The second one needs time for the data streams to come in, but the near X-class event did push a third CME out and towards the Earth. You can see the coronal rippling outward from the flare point, and the SOHO coronagraphs indicate a wide burst halo CME, which makes three on their way to us right now. That's two from yesterday. The CME from this morning's M9.9, .9, .9, and again, we'll wait and see what data comes in for the M7. We have three and possibly four CMEs on their way to Earth now, and there's no real reason to think they're done. These sunspots have not only become massive, but they have some solid magnetic complexity with opposing polarities interacting. We're going to be watching these all day. Folks, the end of the month special for the Observer Review will be a Q&A video. Many of you are already submitting your questions via our email, and the resulting video will be sent out to subscribers at the end of the month. Sign up for the Space Weather and Magnetic Pole Shift e-magazine today. Lastly, folks, I'm sure many of you know we are less than 48 hours away from the end of the Kickstarter for the documentary. If the last six years represent the rebirth of catastrophism science, this film will be its coming of age. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.